I'm an iPhone user. And I'm an Apple employee. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about settings Apple doesn't want you to turn off. Uh, wait. What? Including how to eliminate spam emails. They're not spam, we're Apple. To a setting that Apple is actually hiding from you. It's not hidden, you just can't see it. But first, let's go to the privacy section of settings. Open up settings, scroll down to privacy and security or privacy if you're on iOS 15. Tap on that, scroll down to analytics and improvements. Apple wants to collect all this data about how you use your iPhone to improve their own products. To help you. Let's start at the bottom and work our way up. First up, improve wheelchair mode. I don't hate people with disabilities. Neither do I. And improve hand washing. You don't wash your hands? I do wash my hands. Improve health records. But your rash was just starting to clear up. Yeah, Apple doesn't need access to your medications in your labs. Let's turn that switch off. Improve health and activity. But we heart you and your heart-related measurements like ECGs. Yes, you don't need that information though. How about share iCloud analytics? But those text snippets from your emails really make us laugh. Improve Siri and dictation. Okay, but we'll really miss hearing you swear at Siri for not being perfect. Yeah, let's turn that switch off. Share with developers. I guess you caught on to us. I was gonna call it share with large corporations. And this is the top of the screen. Share iPhone and watch analytics. Sharing is caring. You don't need that information. This can also drain a little bit of battery life use a little bit of cellular data. Apple is the first trillion dollar company they can improve their own products. Tap OK. I don't like this video so far. We're going to talk about more privacy settings later in this video, but first a really annoying setting. You open an app for the first time. They want a five star review immediately. Can you believe it? Yeah, you've used it for five seconds, five stars. Let's tap back to the main page of settings. One below privacy and security is App Store. Tap on that. Scroll down to in-app ratings and reviews. Turn that switch off. I give this tip zero stars. Unwanted pop-ups are annoying. So are unwanted emails, especially when they're coming from a mega corporation like Apple. Mega corporation, come on. Let's tap back to settings upper left-hand corner of the screen. Scroll up to your name at the top of the screen. Tap on that. Tap name, phone numbers, and email. And then scroll down to this subscriptions section a few switches turned on here. Announcements. Those are important notifications? Turn it off. Apps, music, TV, and more. But the more is the best part. Let's turn that off. Apple News Newsletter. But it's so newsy. It's our newsy newsletter. Now let's just uh, go ahead and turn that nice. off. Apple hides a lot of these settings they don't want you to turn off in this section of the settings app. Let's tap back upper left-hand corner of the screen, then tap Media and Purchases. Tap View Account. You may need to Face ID to get in here. There we go. Personalized recommendations. Apple using your app usage, your downloads to deliver you more personalized recommendations. If you turn this off, I'm just going to start recommending you garbage apps yeah, I don't all think you, the time. I don't think that's how that works. Go ahead, turn it off. Turn it off. Okay, well, I will turn it off. There's another setting Apple uses to personalize the ads you see, aka sell your data to big companies. Let's go back to the main page of settings. Let's tap done here. Back to the main page of settings. Scroll down and tap on privacy and security. Scroll down to Apple Advertising, tap on that, personalized ads. But if you turn this off, you're just gonna see a bunch of garbage ads in our apps. Why are you letting garbage ads into your ad network? We don't do that. They don't. Turn that switch off. There's another important ad setting, but it's not in privacy. Tap back, upper left-hand corner of the screen, back to the main page of settings, scroll down and tap on Safari. Then scroll down, until you see privacy preserving ad measurement. This could be kind of confusing, so I have this visual aid. This here, we've got a website, ESPN.com, maybe you've heard of it, and there's an ad here for Beaver Creek. So David, you're gonna be Beaver Creek, okay? Okay. You're, here's your sign, all right. So Beaver Creek is advertising on ESPN. It used to be that whenever I went to ESPN.com, David would get all of my personal information just because he's running an ad. So Beaver Creek, here you go, that's me, right? Wow. So then Apple introduces a feature a year ago that's like privacy preserving ad measurement. So if this switch is on, it means you don't get exactly who I am, but you get kind of who I am. So now you have this. But if you turn the switch off, you'll get nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. Is it intentionally misleading so advertisers can get some information from you? Yes. Maybe. No, 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 we didn't do that yeah. at Apple, because I'm Apple. Let's turn that switch off. First person to comment, I love you, David, is gonna get a signed 
copy of this headshot by me. It's like a two ninety nine retail value. <laughs> yeah, right. Advertisers won't be hearing from you. Speaking of hearing from you, don't you want your music listening experience to be as high quality as possible? Well, we're Apple. Of course it is. Double check on that. Let's tap back to settings. Scroll down and tap on music, then tap audio quality. So by default, all three are set to high quality. That sounds good, but it really doesn't sound you good. You don't need lossless audio. It really is just CD quality music. Tap on Wi-Fi streaming, for example. You got a solid internet connection. Why not go up to high-res lossless, get the best audio experience possible? Because it's gonna cost us more to send you that much data. It's too wow. bad for you. Wow. Let's tap back, upper left-hand corner of the screen, tap on downloads. I recommend choosing lossless just to save on storage space. Tap back to audio quality, cellular streaming. So if you have an unlimited data plan, you can probably get away with lossless. You got all that data. If you don't have unlimited data, high quality is probably the way to go. This all sounds good literally and figuratively. Let's talk about a setting that doesn't sound good at all. Tap back to the main page of settings. Scroll all the way up and tap on your name at the top of the screen. Then tap iCloud. Tap iCloud backup. Backup over cellular. Do you want your iPhone to backup to iCloud over cellular data using the data on your cell phone plan? No. But why would it matter if you have an unlimited data plan? Even unlimited data plans have high speed data caps. It's not data forever. There's a limit. So you're saying that our friends at Verizon, just because you can pay more money to get a higher limit and this would fill it all up, you think that we would push you in this direction? I think you might because the setting is on by default. We don't have anything to do with this setting. It's not like Apple announced 5G with Verizon. <laughs> Turn. I that have no recollection off. of those events. Speaking of unnecessary backups, let's tap back to iCloud, upper left hand corner of the screen, then tap manage account storage, then tap backups and then tap on your phone. Do you want all this data being backed up? You should really be selective about it. What, you wanna lose all your data? You I want all your photos to go away of your kids? Well, you don't have to turn off everything, just the things that you don't need backed up. So right off the top, TikTok is my number one. Why am I Why am I backing up TikTok? I don't need that. Turn it off, save 1.6 gigabytes per backup. Why That's are you pretty using TikTok is the question. Because it's in your app store and you say it's okay. The key here is reducing the amount of iCloud storage space you're using. Apple wants to sell you more iCloud storage space. You don't need to if you're conscious about what you're doing. Just because we have options for other people doesn't mean we're trying to sell it to you by filling up your iCloud. That sounds crazy. Mm, well, it sounds crazy. Come in here, check it out, turn off things you don't need to have backed up to iCloud. Speaking of things that Apple wants you to buy, let's talk about battery replacements. Tap back to the main page of settings. All the way back. Scroll down and tap on battery. Then tap on battery health, optimized battery charging. We're trying to make your battery last longer so you don't have to buy a new one. A couple of points here. This is an iPhone 13 Pro I got last September. Still 100% maximum capacity. And here's a spoiler, I don't use optimized battery charging. You're just playing with fire at that point. And number two, it's a trade-off. There are three settings you need to have turned on for optimized battery charging to work. And those might actually end up draining your battery more than this will save you. Well, at least we're not gonna talk about that in this video. We've talked about these settings a lot. We'll link to a video card above and in the section below the subscribe button. Let's turn off optimized battery charging, tap turn off. And speaking of battery, let's tap back upper left hand corner of the screen, tap on accessibility and then tap display and text size. Scroll all the way down to auto brightness. This is one that Apple I have gets had it right. I up to here with this, wait, you said we did it right? You finally had a bright idea. You should leave auto brightness on. We're a perfect company. David Lynch just said yes. so. Well, you're about one for 10 right now. So about Joey Gallo's batting average. Joey Gallo struck out, I'm shocked. We have it off now so it doesn't throw off our recording. You should turn it on. And believe it or not, there's another setting that Apple is right about. I'm liking this video more and more. Let's tap back upper left hand corner of the screen back to the main page of settings and scroll all the way up and tap on your name at the top of the screen, then tap password and security, two-factor authentication on. I can't even turn this setting off and I'm glad that Apple doesn't give me that option. Yeah, why? It's not like we've ever leaked any photos before. You fixed that issue. We did fix that issue. Sorry, celebrities. Two-factor authentication keeps your iPhone more secure. Turn it on, leave it on, and forget about it. Forget about it. I am on a roll. I've got some bad news for you. That's all the credit I'm giving Apple in this video. Let's talk about that setting they're actually hiding from you. 
tap back to the main page of settings, scroll down and tap on Safari. Take a close look at the very top of Safari. Just took a close look, <laughs> tap back to settings. I'm going to make my default browser Chrome just for the moment. Default browser is now Chrome. Tap back, tap back. Let's go up to Safari again. Default browser app suddenly appears out of nowhere. What's up with that? It's not hidden, you just can't see it. Well, I'm gonna show you a magic trick. Okay, David Blaine. If you tap on default browser app in Safari, and change it back to Safari and go back, it's gone again. We only show you the settings that you care about, that you need to see. Well, how about preload top hit? <laughs> Let's move on. Here's a setting that we already turned off once and Apple's making us turn it off again. Tap back to settings, upper left-hand corner of the screen. Scroll up and tap privacy and security. Tap location services. Scroll all the way down and then tap system services. We gotta go really far just to turn off this stupid iPhone analytics and routing in traffic switches. If you think our maps are bad, then leave this on. Or you can just install a different maps app like Google Maps, which I've done on my iPhone. Leave a comment if you think that Google Maps is better than my maps. I mean, a lot of comments, Nobody's on, this, gonna lot of comment comments on, on this video. For more settings that you should turn off on your iPhone, card above, description section below, or click this box that is now appearing on the screen. Check out that video.